why is it that Hollywood seems so resistant to our voices? I mean, we've heard that, yes. you know, our movies don't do as well as right. mainstream movies. There's no overseas opportunity. Sure. But we've seen our independent artists have tremendous success. Absolutely. So why is there still that resistant to our stories and our voices? I think it's a historical thing. It's mm -hmm. a self-fulfilling prophecy. Mm -hmm. If you don't release a movie overseas, right. then it can't be successful. Right. I've had three feature films, and the first two, they just said, no, we're not going to release your movie overseas. How Stella Got a Group Back never got a foreign release. Uh, Barbershop 2 never got a foreign release. Mm -hmm. When Guess Who came along, um, you know, I really sort of put my uh, um, um, uh, self on the line <laughs> and said, listen, give this movie a chance overseas. And right. Fox International said, OK, show it to right. us, uh, prove it to us. So guess who went overseas, opened number one on, in a country on every continent on this globe, nice. uh, did $40 million of business overseas and, and took the movie of $100 million. So that was a, a, a proud moment for me, not just because uh, of the success of the movie, but I knew that by having that conversation, mm -hmm. I was contributing to the bigger picture of how uh, Hollywood was change their minds about this, this self-fulfilling prophecy. For more information on the show and the co-host, log on to aspire.tv slash exhale. Follow our show on Twitter at Exhale TV. Stay connected to Exhale. Like us on Facebook slash Exhale TV.